In this video, I'm going to show you how to embed your Facebook albums on your WordPress website in beautiful and responsive feeds like this. To do this, we'll be using the Smash Balloon Facebook Feed Pro plugin. The plugin allows us to create fast and responsive Facebook feeds without having to use any coding. To purchase and download the plugin, head over to smashballoon.com and once purchased, you can find a download link and license key inside your Smash Balloon account. Download Facebook Feed Pro and head over to your WordPress dashboard. Now inside your dashboard, installing Facebook Feed Pro is just like installing any other plugin. Hover over plugins on the left hand side and click on add new. Then go and click on upload plugin at the top and upload the zip file you downloaded from Facebook Feed Pro. Like this and click on install now. Then go ahead and activate the plugin. And there we go, Facebook Feed Pro has now been activated. But before I show you how to embed our Facebook albums on our website, let's go and activate the license key for the plugin. On the left hand side, you'll now notice Facebook Feed. Hover over it like this and click on settings. And beside license key, we can go ahead and paste the license key we copied from our Smash Balloon account, like this, and click on activate. Now you can see the license key has been activated for Facebook Feed Pro, so we can start creating our Facebook album feed. Head over to Facebook Feed once again, and then click on All Feeds. To get started, go and click on Add New at the top. With Facebook Feed Pro, you can create several different feed types. For example, you can create a feed of posts from your Facebook timeline, a feed of photos from your Facebook page, a feed of videos from your Facebook page, you can display albums from your Facebook page, and more below. For this video, since we're embedding our Facebook albums on our WordPress website, let's go and select Albums and click on Next. And now we'll have to add a source for our Facebook feed. Go and click on Add New, and then we'll have to specify a source type, whether we have a Facebook page or a Facebook group. For this video, we're using a Facebook page and that's already selected for us, so we can go and click on Connect to Facebook. This will take you into Facebook and you'll see all the Facebook pages associated with your Facebook account. Go ahead and select the one you want to add as a source, like this, and click on Next. And now it's asking us for permission to connect Smash Balloon with our Facebook account. Don't worry, all it's doing is viewing the information it needs to display our feed, but it won't be allowed to make any changes or posts on your behalf. Go and click on Done, and then click on OK. Back inside Facebook Feed Pro, you can now see the Facebook page we selected as a source. We can select it like this and click on Add, and then select it as a source and click on Next. And for our last step, Facebook Feed Pro gives us several different templates for the appearance of our feed. We have options like the default, simple masonry, widget, large grid, and more below. For this tutorial, let's stick with the default one, it's already selected for us here, so we can go and click on Next. And just like that, we have a preview of our brand new Facebook album suite inside the plugin. You can see all the latest albums from our Facebook page displayed in this beautiful layout. So we can now go and embed this on our WordPress webpage, but before I show you how to do that, let me show you how to customize this. On the left hand side, under the Customize tab, go into Feed Layout. Here you can customize the layout of your Facebook feed. You can see currently we have the grid layout selected, which shows all of your Facebook albums in rows and columns like this. Alternatively, we have the list layout, which shows all your Facebook albums in a single column list like this. Then we have the masonry layout, which displays all of your Facebook albums in rows and columns in the original sizes. And lastly, we have the carousel layout, which displays all of your Facebook albums in a swipeable carousel like this. Proceeding with the grid layout, if you look down below, we can specify how many albums we want to display on our feed. Currently it's set to 6, but if we want to change that, we can easily modify the number here like this. And instantly, that change will be made inside our live preview on the right hand side. And if you look down below, you can also specify how many columns you want to display on desktop, tablet, and mobile on your Facebook albums feed. Once you're happy with the layout of your Facebook albums feed, go and click on save on the top right corner. Next, with Facebook Feed Pro, you can also modify the header area of your Facebook albums feed. On the left hand side, go and click on header. With the plugin, you get two different header types you can use. Currently, we can see the visual header, which has a Facebook page cover photo, profile photo, page name, and the number of page likes as well. And next, we have the text header, which is a simple text header that we can customize down below. You can choose the one you like the most. For this video, we're going to go with the visual header. We can keep it like this. And if you make any changes, go and click on save on the top right corner. Now that we know how to customize our Facebook albums feed, let me show you how we can embed it onto your WordPress web page. Go and click on embed on the top right corner. Copy your dedicated shortcode. Then click on add to a page. Next, select the page you want to add your Facebook feed to. Then click on add. Now on your WordPress web page, you have two different options to embed your Facebook albums feed. You can either use a shortcode block and paste the shortcode you copied like this. Or if you're using Block Editor, you can use our dedicated Facebook feed block like this. And straight away, you can see a live preview of your brand new Facebook albums feed inside your web page. We can now click on Update and check out what it looks like on the live web page. And here we are on our live web page, and right in the middle, you can see our brand new Facebook albums feed. All the latest albums from our Facebook page are displayed in this beautiful grid layout. And if someone visiting your website wanted to check out that album, they can simply click on it like this, and it will show them all the photos inside that album, which they can click through like this. And if you wanted to embed your Facebook album into the sidebar or footer of your website, you can do that as well. Let me show you how. Back inside the plugin, all you have to do is go and click on Embed, copy your shortcode, and instead of clicking on Add to a page, click on Add to a widget instead. And this brings us into the WordPress widgets menu. To embed our Facebook albums, we have the same two options as before. 
We can either use the shortcode block and paste the shortcode we copied, or we can use the custom Facebook feed block like this. And straight away, you can see a beautiful preview of our new Facebook albums feed inside the sidebar. We can now click on update and check out what it looks like on the live web page. And here we are back on our live web page, and right in the middle, you can see that Facebook albums feed we created earlier with the grid layout. But on the right hand side, you'll also notice we have a sidebar now. We have our Facebook albums embedded within as well. So we successfully learned how to add a Facebook feed both onto our web page and onto the sidebar as a widget as well. If you have any questions about what I covered in this video, please let me know in the comments down below. If you run into any technical issues, please contact our awesome support team. They'd be happy to help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.